Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for mid-February 2020 for the full Celtic cross for Aquarius, Sun Moon Rising. New energies, positive energies for Aquarius. At least hopefully positive energies, new energies that are coming in. Be the full Celtic cross, someone's hanging around waiting for something. This is meant to be, it'll come out again. As you know, this will not resonate with all Aquarius individuals. I am going to give also a love reading at the end with the Twin Flames messages. Okay. Okay. Let's see what the beginning energy is. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you're waiting on work. Maybe you're working too hard. Maybe someone's not working on something hard enough, you know, that's coming in and around you. <clears throat> Maybe you're looking for work. What's coming in is domination, you know, or domination, taking over, taking control over what you're wanting to do in life. <clears throat> Go with passions or stay with safety nets. It's up to you. What's crossing is the full card is taking a leap of faith. Some of you need to take a leap of faith and make a decision to do so. It has to do with work. What crowns you are the goal. There's a tower situation, something unexpected. So... Now that you see this, expect it. But this is what's crowning you. It's hovering, hovering over you, over your head. And something unexpected. Maybe you're worried about that too, but I didn't get that in the worry section. <clears throat> the foundation is the Queen of Swords in reverse. This could be you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, feeling like you don't know what to do and not, know, not knowing what direction to take. Worried about tower situations. Maybe there was a tower, you know. Something unexpected. In the past, you were trying to regain balance and work hard on whatever you were doing. And I'm going to clarify these, and it will give us a lot more information and change the situation up. Like I said, I'll be giving you a love reading at the end, Twin Flames. You will be moving forward quickly after this, after whatever <clears throat> event happened that was surprising to you that you weren't expecting. You will be moving forward quickly. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Five of Pentacles. You may be fearing that you won't have enough. You may be over worrying. It could be the universe or whatever telling you um, maybe save your money more. You know, keep hold back on them. Don't spend so much so you won't feel left out. You know, not have enough. What is coming towards you is the Knight of Dis in reverse. Something is slowly coming towards you. Um, of the Knight of Dis, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or it could be someone is uh, holding back on approaching you on a stable offer. We'll find out more and why. Your hopes and fears get on top of something. Valor, taking control with the Seven of Wands. In the end, the Magician. You may feel like there was a little manipulation at hand. Maybe you were doing it or somebody around you. We'll find out what that is. And the reason why we read these the way they are in the truthful way is so you can avoid a situation. I do see a tower moment, something unexpected. We're going to try to find out what that is. But you need to make a decision on well, whether to make take a leap of faith. It's like you're holding back a little. Maybe you got a little bit of fear. I'm feeling the fear. But the two of wands was crossing is the full card. I need two cards, please, for Aquarius. Two cards. Yeah, past memories. And Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're going to have to make a choice to stay where you're at. It's like almost like you're fearing to take that leap, like I said. But I think you're afraid that it will lead to negativity if you do take this leap of faith. You're afraid if you do go on to something else, it won't be, it won't bring you the things that you're wanting. But where you're at is not exactly what is happening in your life that you're wanting right now either. You do have a tower situation coming or it already happened because this is what crowns you. Also, the goal. I don't think you're you're wanting to, well, you may be. Maybe you're wanting to tell somebody you're going to do something else and it's going to be shocking to them. Or, what's, like I said, it could be crowning you. What's hovering over you is unexpected situations. Maybe you're just afraid of tower situations like I do. I feel a lot of fear in this um, card reading. Someone has a lot of fear. So let me go and see what it is. The tower. I need two cards for Aquarius. So what crowns them or the goal? It has to do with work, definitely, with work. And there you are, Knight of Swords. I see you... Um, 
pretty much your energy. It could be someone else's. It could be another air sign or just someone with messages that are sharp and to the point with no filter. So the Knight of Swords in reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Again, you're wanting to collaborate with something, but something unexpected happens. Someone tells you something or you find out something. It kind of gets you um, kind of in reverse. See, everybody thinks that just because the card's in reverse, it means that they're a terrible person. Not necessarily. They may have had a tower moment, you know? So the Queen of Swords in reverse is the foundation. I need two cards, please. Two cards. The Universe in reverse and the Ace of Disc. Hmm. You may have to revisit something with the Universe to see where you want to go. Take a step back and maybe possibly make an offer yourself to go somewhere else or accept an offer from somebody with the Ace of Disc that will bring you more stability. Because I think where you're at right now, you're not getting what you're wanting for a lot of you. Not for all of you. Remember what I said, this will not resonate with everyone. But the message is clear here that, <clears throat> yeah, you need to move forward. In the past, you're a hard worker. You were keeping balance. You were doing what you were supposed to do. I need two cards, please, for the art card in the upright for Aquarius. Yeah. Trying to keep balance over something that just wasn't going to work in. You were hoping it was going to work. You were hoping your ships were going to come in. And you were almost like you were working hard towards almost nothing, you know, that did not reward you in the end. So I do see you moving forward with something else. You're moving forward quickly. You're getting dodge is what it is. So the chariot in the upright. I need two cards, please, in the very near future for Aquarius. Two cards, please. Yeah, you're going to celebrate in a way. You're going to relax more. And you may uh, indulge just a little bit too much when you celebrate, so be careful of that. But you are moving forward. You're going to say, heck, I'm going to jump forward. I'm going to celebrate this situation. I'm going to consider a bad memory and letting it go. Possible future outcome advice from the universe is the Five of Pentacles. And I told you what that's about, but I need two cards. So Five of Pentacles in the upright. Two cards, please, for what the possible future outcome and advice from the universe for Aquarius. The Hermit. The Hangman. This is to wait a little bit and think to yourself. It feels like you need to hold back on some of your finances because you'll be afraid you don't have enough. Some of you may overspend. I'm seeing the universe saying hold back possibly in making a split decision it looks like you're going to move forward though and you may some of you may quit your position or thinking about it the universe is saying you may not have enough if you do you may want to hold back and wait until an offer another offer comes in okay some of you may get so aggravated over a situation you heard about you may say well i'm just going to quit because people aren't working with you and you know vice versa this has a lot to do with work. I will be giving you a love reading, but this has to do a lot with finances and where you want to be in life. So it's telling you, be very careful in how you speak out. Um, wait around for something to come in because you've got to wait for it. It's going to be a little delayed, as they say. So the Knight of Disc in reverse. I need two cards for Aquarius in the outside position. So if you go ahead and quit something right away, yeah... Someone is not offering something yet. It's delayed. Someone is, they're taking a break. They're unable to approach you. Some, some people that you're waiting on, they may be ill. But they got other things going with the Four of Swords in the upright. Like they're taking a break from something. So you won't hear about a position right away if that's what you're waiting for. <clears throat> or you may not hear from a person right away that you've been waiting for, even at work. So be careful about saying, chuck it, I'm leaving. Because the universe is saying, hold off a little bit, keep to yourself. Because you may be without money if you do. Okay? This is a warning from the universe. Remember, I said it's a possible future outcome or advice. So it's saying to hold back a little. Because you may not have enough money. It's up to you, though. Your hopes and fears is to take control, get on top of things, work the way you're wanting to, win. So the Seven of Wands in the upright and the hopes and fears for Aquarius. I need two cards, please. Yeah, you're fearing heartbreak. You want to get on top of things. And you just want happy happiness. You just want contentment 
In the end, we got the magician in reverse. Be careful of that manipulation, whether you're doing it or somebody else, because it is in reverse. Call the trickster card in reverse. So I need two cards for the magician card in reverse. While you're there for Aquarius, I need two cards, please. Something going on here. Prince of Wands could have to do with the Prince of Wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So Prince of Swords is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they're going up against the Queen of Swords in reverse. You may feel that they're manipulative at you or being towards you, and you may spout off, or vice versa. They may not think that you're doing this. So it's what I'm seeing is how you fix this is be careful how you speak. Make sure you're not overindulging and, you know, a little... Um, haphazardly talking or saying something because something is bothering you and you, you want to take a leap of faith. You're wanting to make this decision to move forward. But things in the air are not right right now, okay, Aquarius? I do see you moving forward, but it also says to be careful <clears throat> to wait because you won't have enough. That's advice from the universe. And if you do spout off, someone th may think you're manipulating them or you may be thinking that and that's why you do this. The whole set section is and you don't, you can take it or you can leave it. You see the cards. You see me shuffling them. It's warning you that you may not have enough if you just take off somewhere from a job. It doesn't say that not to. It's just something's delayed coming in and it's telling you to wait for it or you won't have enough. Otherwise, you'll be carrying a burden. Okay, this is for Aquarius looking for this is employment. It's not love. I don't see a whole lot of love cards here, but I do see Aquarius being very aggravated and they may pop off. Because remember, this is what's crowning you or your goal, saying something unexpected in a collaboration that has to do with work. Knight of Swords in reverse. You could be the one very well that pops off. Or, like I said, someone at you that puts you in reverse. And you're just saying, Chuck it, I want to move forward. But the universe is saying, keep calm, you know, stay balanced. Keep calm, stay balanced. Um, wait for other offers to come in before you um, kick everything out the door is what it's saying. It's going to cause you a burden if you do. And this is advice from the universe. You don't have to take it. You can go ahead and do what you want to do. But it's just going to say it's going to be a little um, tough at first when you're trying to do this as you're trying to get along. So let me go ahead and do a love reading and a twin flames message because that's what a lot of people want. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Let me clear this up. Hello Aquarius, I'm going to give you your twin flames messages. I'm going to try to get this straight as possible. I uh, should have checked it beforehand, but I'm going to give you the regular um, message, but I'm going to add twin flame messages instead of the um, psychic tarot this time because we got Valentine's coming up, but this is for love. For Aquarius, what do they need to know about love in February? You already know about work. We need to know about love. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, New Energies, hopefully positive energies. And uh, three cards from the Angel Answers, because we need answers about love, because a lot of people are looking for love. Sun, Moon, Rising for Aquarius, mid-February, you know, Valentine's Day stuff. You need to know about love for Aquarius. When we get any past life people in these cards, I will pull a past life card. Got the twin flame messages. I'll put three out there for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is from the Mystic Moon. I just got this. They're really good cards, they're nice shuffle cards, and they're really meaningful when it comes to twin flames what they thinking about you or why they did what they did or who they are, you know, things of that nature. So I need three cards from the Twin Flame messages. We need a message from tw for Twin Flames. That is if this is a Twin Flame. Not everybody has a Twin Flame. That's why I put it like this. And I got, um, this is from the Naked, the Naked Heart. It is a, a tarot deck. Oops, something wants to come out. Judgment. Make a final decision that's right for you, that's right for your life. I'm going to put that there because it fell out. Three cards for the Naked Heart Tarot. These are kind of hard to shuffle. They're very, very uh, thick cards. But one thing about these cards are probably last a lifetime. But they kind of stick a little too. But they're hard to shuffle because they're so heavy. You know... Let's see what's going on. 
honeymoon and a year from now. You're going to be taking a trip a year from now in a honeymoon type setting. doesn't necessarily mean that you get married, but it definitely means you'll be going somewhere fun with somebody that you like, that you feel like it's a honeymoon. Whoever you're dealing with, and maybe that didn't work out, or maybe they didn't know how to approach you, or maybe something happened between you and a twin flame, the messages from the twin flame, they just got caught up in the moment, is what happened. You will know what it means, because it would be to your um, situation. Someone got caught up in the moment, if you're wondering what happened with them, but they still very much care about you with the Two of Cups and the Upright. So something happened there. Maybe it's the same person that's going to occur in this one, in this section. But someone is feeling they got caught up in the moment, but they still got, you know, care. So I don't know what that means. It could be that um, maybe they reacted um, quickly to a love situation. They got all caught up and they, and they didn't know how to deal with it. That could be it too. And the middle one says let, let go of control issues. Some of you may have control issues or someone you feel has try having control issues with you. Um, focus on your health. You must uh, focus on your health. And that's why it's saying let go of control issues or it's going to mess up your health. Let's see what your twin flame says. They feel too much pressure right now. So it's let go of control issues or you're feeling this way towards them. Someone's putting someone under pressure and it's, it's causing the health issues. Mother of Cups. Go to Queen of Cups. This could be have to do with... Um, Someone of the emotional nature, it could be getting your emotions in check, taking back on your crown. For some of you, be dealing with a water sign. Third one, pay attention to red flags when people come into your life. You know, you go towards people. I'm not, it's, it's not saying that someone that comes towards you is a, the wrong type of person. It's just saying you got to um, signal out who are, who are the best people for you or who are not good for you, Okay. You need to get more information before you really dive into something with somebody because you may get yourself in trouble if you end up with the wrong person. If you pay attention to red flags and go towards the people that don't have them or, you know, are giving you good signals, then you'll have a better outcome. If this is a twin flame thing. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. So someone who is uh, probably didn't do very right by you um, is having troubles. They know they did wrong. And if you want to know, find out exactly what's going on, you could ask or you could uh, just really research this person or see what's going on and you will realize that they had situations going on that they knew that they know is their fault. Okay? They know this. So they're, they're trying to take responsibility in their situation. Maybe they popped off on you. Maybe they lied. Maybe they didn't give you enough attention. But they know it's them, and they know it's not you right now. It doesn't mean that they're terrible people. It just it, I don't feel that they are. But get more information before you um, really react to them, because I do see control issues are there. This person, your twin flame, is becoming very much the hermit. They're going within. So if this is somebody you've been involved with right now. They know they've done wrong. Or they know their part in what's done wrong. Because sometimes it takes two people. It really does. But in the middle, if you put this with this, um, someone needs to let go of control issues. And maybe someone has them. And health is at issue right here. If it don't get uncontrolled, it can really mess you up. Someone's feeling a lot of pressure right now. So understand that. And someone needs to get their emotions back unchecked. That's why I think what the Mother of Cups is. Um, uh, come into maturity about your emotions. Year from now, things could really switch up. You can go on a honeymoon stage. You can meet somebody. You can go with somebody you already know. It could be a twin flame thing. They got caught up in the moment. They want to go off with you. But something happened that caused a riff. If you bring all these together, if it's one situation and someone felt someone was over controlling and others need to pay attention to red flags when someone else is doing this, someone knows that they're the one at fault when they did this. So realize that there is still love there with the Two of Cups. And someone needs to revamp and revise their life. Make a sound decision to get themselves together to, again. You know, they got to just go for it. You know, do what's right for the whole situation and make a final decision towards it instead of him hauling around. But I do see like, I, see, I do see a year from now you're going to be enjoying yourself. You're just coming into a blip and someone may got it caught up in a moment. Maybe they're into you in a by this time, 
or something happened that got in the way and they got caught up in the moment. But like I said, they still love you. Someone needs to let go of control issues, Aquarius, whether you do or the other person. It will affect your health, like I said. And someone's feeling under a lot of pressure right now. They need to mature emotionally before they go into something else. Someone needs to pay attention to red flags. And someone also realizes that they are partly at fault here. And someone is going within. It is up to you to get more information on the whole situation if you want it to work out. You need to make a final decision on how you want to approach this situation. Not him hauling around. Like I said, a year from now, you'll be going off with somebody, maybe this person, maybe with somebody else, enjoying yourself. And just realize sometimes things get messed up. Sometimes people just get caught in the moment, you know. This is your reading. I'm going to let this go. I may have to edit some of it. It's way too long. And I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye.